Alrighty. I'm I'm reading up on where this thing is. Ooh, huh? Oh yeah, I I've been pushed up by that. I think when I played this game, I was pushed up on that specific one because it's like you feel like you know where it is, but it's kind of in a non-specific picture. So you're like, okay. Like it's just like designed to be. Like you think this would be where like the first level happened, right? Um. Yeah. No joke, when I was first playing it, I had to straight up look up YouTube walk I had to straight up look up YouTube walkthroughs for that one. Uh yeah. I definitely remember going onto like some IGN site for how, how to solve certain uh shrines in Breath of the Wild. Um see, for me growing up and learning like Mario Galaxy and Mario 64, my way and way through stuff was Sugar Conroy, like, completion, completing Let's Play, until Sugar Conroy 100% Mario Let's Plays. Mm hmm You'd you, you think with the, how open this level is, there would just be, like, a free play section, like, with that other one. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised, I don't know if this is a thing, and I'm, uh, kind of surprised no one's done this yet. Um, mm -hmm. Imagine, like, an, a, you know how every, like, video game, indie game with, like, a Moe anime style ends up being, like, an RPG or a visual novel? So, mm -hmm. like, what if they had this cutesy anime RPG anime style, Moe style, but with a 3D platformer? Oh. I'm kind of surprised not many people have done that. I, I'm assuming it's just because platformers would be harder to uh, design um, for because it's, like... All, like all those sim games it's just like it's just you got like a couple of backgrounds and some character expressions and that's usually it yeah it, it's it's very difficult to design for platforming uh it makes sense uh, but it's a shame because i like platforming yeah it, yeah i'm just saying because uh one common thing i notice in nintendo debate circles all the time is uh the classic I only play Mario and Zelda, and I do not like most anime or JRPGs. Mm. And I'm sitting there realizing, oh yeah, it's because a lot of them do like these kind of platformer stuff and barely touch any RPGs that aren't like Pokemon. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, what if you just made an anime platformer? Hmm. The only make one, up, the closest one I can happy. think of is the game Rabi Rebi. Yeah. I know there is apparently this one game that's like an open world Breath of the Wild kind of thing. But with this, with this, with this girl where you can dress up in different outfits to do things. I, I can't remember the name right now. I think, I just remember the, it has to do with the name Nikki. Uh, the most anime, I feel like the most anime platformer I played is Klonoa. And even that's barely. Uh. Gotta get all this freaking yarn because we're so close. Oh, okay, to the final so hat. I think it. Okay, okay so it's an open world dress up game. It's called yeah. Infinity Nikki. Infinity oh, Nikki. Nice. Infinity Stone oh. Nikki. Infinity Stone. <laughs> hey, it's the Nikki, first you're so full fine. 3D you're so dress up fine. game. So fine. Hey, Nikki. I just think of Epic Nikki. But yeah, because so it's like I guess the the titular character gets like these like different outfits that. That often let her do different things, like taking care of animals or floating. Sounds a little like the set to card cap to Sakura, actually. Oh, oh, maybe. I, I, this just reminded me of one of the anime game, what kind of anime game? I uh, recently I learned that there's this really huge arcade in my sort of area. Well, not my area. It's about an hour drive, but uh, oh. it's close enough to go to for me on a day. But more or less, they, they have a lot of cabinets, but one of the things they had was a Sailor Moon beat-em-up. Yep, that's a thing. Oh, oh yeah. Sailor Moon beat -em up and it was so cool. It matched the show really well. It had Japanese voices. Oh. Uh, it, um, it also, the arcade also had infinite continues, so like, you know, bad stakes were dying. Mm. We we love it when um, we love it when the games are accessible like that. Yeah, I oh. been, like I was um you know I kind of switched between a lot of them and I I was you know I switched between like Moon and Venus and uh, 
the moon, Venus, and uh, Mercury mainly. Oh. Uh, oh, there it one is. Of those I didn't run into it's a land. What? So is this the game you're talking about here? Yeah, yeah, that's Infinity Nikki, apparently. Uh, and that's quite a style. But yeah, see, so yeah, the titular Nikki gets a lot of different outfits. Yeah. That's that like the, also that little bee is just aw. That bee. Too fuzzy. I, this feels like the kind of game where someone who didn't know this was a game would say, "Is this thing made in AI?" <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm hoping it's not. That seems to be an argument you see a lot now because I mean, I, 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 people just always assume like everything is possibly AI. Yeah. And sometimes, and sometimes like, oh, if it's something that's badly made, but it, like, people can make bad things. Yeah, people just make bad things. Not like bad. I know AI can be very weird, yeah. but you know, people can people can are capable of creating like, bad things. Honestly, I mean, the, just look at Seth MacFarlane. Whenever I see a badly <laughs> made AI thing, it's usually got two things. It's either uncanny as hell or so obviously corporate the same. I mean, my thing is that I usually kind of see like some weird distortion in the face or messed up hands. Like remember Also when... also background stuff. Like back like random things in the background. Remember when Dolly was a thing and everyone was making AI stuff like that? Like, Creations got the most distorted Picasso looking faces. Yeah, they yes. they looked so they looked so weird. I, I I just I just liked using it to make random pizza parties. Yeah, yeah. This is back when AI. This is back before like AI actually became this like really big controversial contested thing, and companies weren't like actually considering using it for some reason. Yeah, this this is back when people just treated AI like how it's actually supposed to be, just the for fun thing. Yes, it's a it, 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 like it's a, it's such a shit post thing. I, that, that's literally all it is. On shit post and not shit post and not to actually replace artists. I, I still remember years ago when there was like this whole thing that got viral with Harry Potter. Where, where like they used like an AI for to like try to attempt to write a Harry Potter story and it was not very good, but it was like stupid, absurd, and I kind of thought it was it was yeah, it was like, like a meme. You're supposed to yeah, I feel like it's better. Like that's the whole point. Like it's it's not it wasn't even that good. Like when people were trying to actually pass AI off to a serious art or writing, I just think to like the random weird shit chat GPT spits out, and I'm like, you want to like on par with television stuff. It's, it's not good. It, that does that, that doesn't even work. Exactly. Because it's like it's just gonna make it's just gonna make the content be very mediocre and overly polite. I've actually I've never before where I asked Chat GPT to like tell me your favorite episodes of shows. It'll straight up make up episodes. <laughs> it, like like I I have seen instances where ChatGDP will make up freaking lawsuits in order to actually tell in order to like answer questions. Lawsuits. <laughs> yeah. Like I've seen people ask ask from? AI for like case law stuff. What's funny Ooh, is at my job, at my job, there was this one coworker I had who was kind of, I think he was in college, and uh, no joke, for reference, I was at the time working in the emergency department, and we were at the uh -huh. computer to register people, and uh, I'm looking over at this guy, and he's using AI to help, and he's using chat GPT to help him with his college. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh. Like, instead it's like, originally, oh, hey, let's get this random person to do my homework for me. No, uh, let's just have the AI do it. Do it. <laughs> What's also funny is my sister is a teacher, and uh, she has straight up had problems with students obviously writing papers in chat GPT. Gosh, yeah. I mean, I, I'm not surprised, though, because, you know, most, you know, kids don't want to do homework. Yeah. They, they'll, 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 do about, they'll do anything to make it easy. They, they, they even, if it's not, even if it just means not doing it. it. <laughs> like, I freaking hated homework. Yeah, kids just do anything because we're... <laughs> I, my thing with homework was the ones that annoyed me the most was math homework. Not because uh. the math was hard necessarily, but because math homework always felt like it was trolling you. Because uh. like the teacher would be like, okay, we're going to do problems like 5 through 10 out of the math book tonight for homework. 
and then you look at the and you think, oh, only five questions? That's easy. And then you get home, look at the assignment, and it's like, question 5A, question 5B. Yeah. Oh, oh, I hate that. That, that. That's a lie. Such a lie. Yeah, straight up lying. Like it's clickbait almost. Yeah, I, I know with I know I def I probably was like low key plagiarizing Wikipedia at times because I was no not way. very good at like wording myself well. No so that, that made homework extra stressful because it's like, oh, it, it doesn't it doesn't sound very good. Or, I can't even be mad. I definitely I remember. I think I think I definitely remember some of my teachers did not like that site. I know when I would do research papers as a kid, I would get a source and then I would see a sentence and I would slightly reword it. I would yeah, like, I, yeah, reword it so they will, they'll never know. I I, I know the <laughs> other thing, and I didn't say college a lot, but uh, I sometimes have to do like online quizzes for like college homework. Low key, what me and I, I think confirm this was that several other students did. We would look these up on like Quizlet and find yep. the exact question and answer there and just come Wow, I can't. Wow, so that, literal sheets. 